Right, hello all. Um, okay, I'm playing with my Bergman uh, 400. Uh, looking forward uh, on the Bergman, you've got uh, an H7 bulb in the left-hand headlight, if you like, looking forward, uh, which is your dip beam. And on, on the right-hand side, you've got an H4 bulb, which only uses the, the uh, main beam filament for the main beam. Uh, the dip beam does nothing. So I thought, what would happen if I were to put in an H4 bulb uh, or be an LED one and see if we can upgrade the light in here. Uh, I'm expecting it to throw light everywhere and that um, reflector not to work very well. I'm surprised at the results. So what I've got here in front of the camera is a piece of plywood basically set up in my garage and I'm going to turn on the ignition and I'm going to show you what the dip beam looks like with a normal halogen bulb and then show you what the dip beam would look like if we were to use the uh the dip beam from the h4 bulb so i've put an led one in that like i said let's have a go right so if i turn the ignition on you can see a nice i'm going to just try and focus it now just because it's an iphone just tap the screen there we go right so you can see there's a nice clean cut off line now you would expect this this is the halogen bulb okay i don't know how well you can see that but there's a nice clean cut off line so you've not got light shooting everywhere now on the right hand side of the one, we don't know obviously what will happen if I connect it up uh, to use the dip beam part of the H4. I'm going to do it now. Right, so it's all connected up to a battery. If I connect that on, you will, you'll be surprised at this actually. If I connect that on, because I've had a quick look. There you go. You can see it's, all right, hello, it's a lot brighter. I'll just refocus it again. There we go. It is a lot brighter, however, you can see there's not light shooting all over the place because the reflector doesn't work. I've not even cleaned that reflector tonight, by the way. I've just come in the garage, linked it up to see what it would look like. It works. You could effectively use that as a dip beam. I mean, yes, it's a much, much brighter than the, uh, the, the halogen bulb. That's not my point at this video. I mean, obviously, I want to upgrade it, but you can see there's not lots of light shooting off. Now, I'm going to turn the garage light off and just show you. I'll refocus it and I'll show you. Right, there we go. If I refocus it now on the screen, I know it's a long video, but just to show you, you can actually see the different chips on the screen. There's three lines here, but that just, it, it, it just basically projects onto the road. It's not shooting light everywhere and blinding people. So that's a success. Uh, and also, let's just quickly turn the light back on. Refocus the screen again. And I'm going to turn that off now, the, the, uh, the dip beam, and I'm going to connect the main beam to show you what it looks like compared to the normal one. Just got to shove this in the side of a battery, just bear with me. There we are. Right, so again, it's not shooting light everywhere, it works. I'll just refocus the screen by tapping it again. Yeah, a nice, a nice tight beam pattern. You can actually see a line coming right across the top here. Oh loss of board then and down the side so you're not blinding everyone with the light from the led it works it really could work so my plan is to replace this one on this side with an h7 led leave the h4 led on there and then connect up so that you've got two dip beams on and one main beam and then i've got a pair of rigid industry lights that are going to go on the sides uh of of the the, the scooter to really boost the light output. Um, right, I'll leave it there. I know it's a four minute video, but just to demonstrate the point that it does work. And if you wanna make this into a twin headlight dip beam, it does work. There we go, out for now.